A data challenge a day helps you master machine learning. This is DDC 32. We're going to calculate mean squared error loss on MNIST digits. You've seen these, uh, this data set before in DDC 23. So what you want to do is import that data again. You can consult this DDC for details. Find all the rows that correspond to the number 7. And then calculate the average 7 image that looks like this down here. And then you calculate the mean squared error, which is this formula. So it's each individual item of the number 7 minus the average of the 7. And then you uh, take that difference, you square it, sum over all of the pixels, and that gives you a mean squared error for all 2,000 some odd 7 images. And then what you want to do is find the image that has the largest MSE, that's the most dissimilar to the average, and the smallest MSC, that is the one that is the most similar to the average. And then you plot them here. So here's the average. This is the most similar. This is the most distinct from the average. If you're on my Substack, you can scroll down through this hilarious picture of a pony swimming in a pool made of chocolate and find my full solution down here, which I will now walk you through very quickly. Here I'm importing the data. Here I find all the sevens and I average them together. So this is the average handwritten digit of the number seven. Here you see the mean squared error loss function. So it's the difference between the individual sevens and the average. And then we square that. We square it for a number of reasons. One is that we don't care about positive or negative numbers. And then I average over all of the pixels. Here I'm finding the largest mean squared error and the smallest mean squared error. And then I'm using grid spec to visualize those. What we need grid spec for is getting this uh, subplot organization where there's one long plot on top and then three on the bottom.